The beautiful part about this whole ladder is you upgraded properties, buying it between three, three and a half, and 5% using primary residence programs, living them all of them for a short period of time. And by the time you're done, you now have a beautiful real estate residential portfolio and you never had to give 20 to 25% down. So a very popular strategy that we use here with our partners and our clients is the smart money ladder. The smart money ladder is a gradual process that you move from one property to another as a primary residence and within three to seven years, depending on how fast you can acquire and move through the ladder, you end up building your real estate portfolio and you do it in a way where you use minimum down payment options versus the traditional investing method, which is 20 to 25% down. So imagine being able to get anywhere between four to seven different units or doors or rental properties, however you want to classify them, all with three to 5% down versus trying to collect five to seven investment properties with 20 to 25% down. Well, that's what the smart money ladder is. That's the premise. And the way of doing it is very simple. Step one, start with a small condo, preferably a one bedroom. That way, everything you get after that would be bigger and better, which makes sense that you would move from one situation to a bigger and better situation. And that is how the bank is going to have no problem treating it as a primary residence and giving you the three to 5% option in the next property you, you purchase. So if you start off with a condo, live in it for a short period of time, minimum 12 months is usually the rule of thumb, but we've done it as little as eight months sometimes, depending on the circumstances. Make sure it's a condo that can easily get great rental and cash flow afterwards. Then you upgrade into a multifamily property. Now, what's a multifamily property? A duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex. So anywhere between two to four units. That means two to four doors that are gonna be bringing you in rental income. So you already have the condo rented that you purchased, let's say a year ago. The following year you saved up, and now instead of putting 20 to 25% down to buy an investment property, you're buying a multifamily with multiple units that are gonna bring you money for as little as three to 5% down, depending on the loan program we go with, right? Now you upgrade from a one bedroom condo, let's say, and you live in one of these units that has two bedrooms or three bedrooms, and then it has the rental properties attached to it. You stay there for another eight to 12 months. Hey, even if it takes you another two to three years to start saving up, now you want to upgrade and let's say you get a town home because now you want a backyard you don't want to be attached to multiple properties you were in a two bedroom unit in the let's say duplex or triplex and now you want a three bedroom two bathroom townhouse with a big yard or you can even go straight directly to the house depending on what your family situation is but if you can squeeze that townhouse in do that for another year or two and then move into the house Let's count it. A condo, let's say you get a triplex, so one door, two doors, three doors, four doors. If you squeezed in that townhouse, five doors, and then the final house that you were planning to live in, six doors. How many years does it take you to do that? Depends how disciplined you are and saving your money, sticking to this plan. But the beautiful part about this whole ladder is you upgraded properties, buying it between three, three and a half, and 5%, using primary residence programs, living them, all of them for a short period of time. And by the time you're done, you now have a beautiful real estate residential portfolio and you never had to give 20 to 25% down. So if you're really serious about some financial freedom and living a smart money life, follow the ladder.